It is the 24th of the 1st, 2013. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Nuke affects snow? Question mark. Pennsylvania power plant spawns nuclear snow plume. Just when I think I've seen everything, meteorologists have known for decades that waste plumes, the vented heat and moisture from power plants, can produce clouds downwind. Now a new phenomenon has been captured by Doppler radar. Nuke effect snow. It appears Pennsylvania Bear Valley nuclear power plant near um, shipping port generated enough waste heat and moisture in this bitter air mass to create a nuclear effect snow plume downwind. Up to an inch of snow was reported under that narrow localized snow plume. And they have a picture on the radar with that, of course. Uh, and you like to be downwind of that. Team of ex NASA scientists concludes no imminent threat from man made CO2. More counterpunch to Obama's recent speech Rocket Scientist versus James Hansen, quote, In God we trust, all others bring data. Washington, January 23rd, 2013. A group of 20 ex-NASA scientists have concluded that the science used to support the man-made climate change hypothesis is not settled and no convincing physical evidence exists to support catastrophic climate change forecasts. So, uh, pay your carbon tax, people, because that's what this scam is really all about. Uh, they Got a story back from 2010 as far as the scientists coming out saying this uh, global warming climate change um, scam is exactly that. A distressed dolphin seeks out help from a diver and they actually got a video where this dolphin swims up to a diver who cuts away the fishing line and tries to get the hook out of its fin. Pretty crazy. Over to the extinction protocol, they've got a bunch of volcanoes today. Seismic swarm at Chile's volcano increases likelihood of new eruptions. Uh, big chill. The unusual stratospheric phenomenon is bringing frigid cold to the U.S. And believe it, it is cold out there today. Ten volcanic earthquakes rattle Philippines' Tal Volcano. Activity increases in the last 24 hours. We've got one in the Philippines growing up. Um, New Zealand White Island Volcano exhibiting strongest activity in decades. If New Zealand hasn't had enough problems lately. Authorities report volcanic eruptions at, and earthquakes intensifying in Kamachka. you got to remember that's that Russian um, peninsula on the far east. Very, very, very volcanically active just north of Japan. Um, this is the one where they had ten volcanoes gearing up at the same time. Still going on. Uh, and then the, another report on the volcano in uh, Chile. I'm not going to slur the word. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, got a lot going on here today. Pretty crazy. TEPCO. We are planning to dump water from Fukushima plant into the Pacific Ocean. If uh, the unplanned amount wasn't enough already, the billions of becquerels per kilogram <clears throat> that is leaking into the Pacific Ocean. Now they're dumping some of these tanks because they got no room to put it all. TV radiation levels nearly doubled in Fukushima soil sampler, sample over a five month period. And they have a video on that. Big surprise when we have three minimum, at a minimum, three nuclear reactors. These are huge. These are 10, 12 times the size of Chernobyl with MOX. That is a plutonium based fuel. And not a word about plutonium contamination. They're all talking about iodine and cesium. Uh, new 311 footage shows disaster loomed at Fukushima reactor number 5. We haven't heard much about 5 or 6, have we? Advice columnist, mother terrified and returned to Tokyo with three kids due to Fukushima contamination. <clears throat> the columnist tells her, Quote, what you are experiencing is treatable, and to contact a PSS or PTSD center. 
<sighs> Nuclear reaction can be triggered when re um, removing melted fuel rods from Fukushima plant. And uh, these are very damaged spent fuel pools that they're going to try to uh, remove this fuel from. <clears throat> uh, here's a report news that a reactor vessel fell off a train, kept secret for nearly a month, now sits outside under a tarp in Georgia and seems to be partially open to the elements. And they have a photo of this. Taking in all kinds of nuclear waste and stuff from all around the world we are. Fukushima Daiichi worker contamination is still spreading around from the plant. Significantly high levels may be spread during decommissioning work. And we've had reports on how they are lying on the reports for this decommissioning. Isn't exactly going to plan. Washington Post, nuclear plant produces up to an inch of snow in Pennsylvania, and that's that report where the nuclear snow. TV, new roadway being built to access giant sinkhole. Containment berm around the hole. This thing is getting huge. That's a Louisiana sinkhole, Bayou Corn. Uh, Fukushima 7th grader. The people in the government know we are suffering, and they don't do anything. The truth. Updates leaked in France continues. May take days to clear up. Top official headed to plant. Regulation authorities put together a crisis team. Police in Hastings, England suggest putting some Vicks in a tissue to help stick that bad smell coming out of France. Uh, 11 new bubble sites found in a row outside giant sinkhole in Bayou Corn. Discovery has led to speculation and marks the edge of suspected substance zone, so a new place where it's coming down. <clears throat> Japanese journalists, we must know that we are responsible for committing such a huge crime to contaminate the world, and they really, really are. Um, every 40 or so days, a big plume of it circles the earth, even today. Officials, footage released very significant bubbling site near a giant sinkhole, of course. Uh, here's the reports of gas, nauseous, northern France. Smell hits England. South Kent residents warned to keep windows closed. Leak not yet stopped. Uh... <clears throat> Radioactivity levels rising at Fukushima Unit Number 2, Subdrain, since November. Top Japan official, let the other elderly people hurry up and die. Let all these politicians go down and do this decontamination cleanup work, and then bitch about the health care. Mm -hmm. And that's about all I'm going to cover tonight. Of course, um... There is a lot more going on. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.